You can convert any shape, text or logo into a 3D object in just seconds using After Effects. And I'm not exaggerating it. Let me show you how you can do that. Hey there, I'm Sankit San. Welcome to Vertical Darts. I have added timestamps for converting shapes, text and logos into 3D so you can jump straight to the section you are most interested in. Now let's start by creating a new composition. Give it a name and make any changes based on your preferences. The most important step is to change the 3D renderer to Cinema 4D. If you already have a composition, you can update its settings by right clicking on it, selecting composition settings and changing the renderer to Cinema 4D. I will quickly add a gradient background to make the animation pop. Now select any shape you would like to convert into 3D. I will use the ellipse tool. Hold the shape key while drawing a circle to make it perfectly round. We will only use strokes for the shape. Go to fill and select none. Go to stroke, choose a solid color and adjust the stroke size. Next, center the anchor point. Click on the pan behind tool. Hold the command or control key and double click the icon. Rename the layer to circle or any name of your choice. Then make it a 3D layer. Because we switched the renderer to Cinema 4D, we now have access to geometry options which we will use here. Expand geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. To see the effect, adjust the Y orientation. Pretty amazing, right? Let's enhance this by adding lights. Right click, go to new and select light. Choose a light type. I will go with spotlight and pick a color. I will use purple. Adjust the light angle as needed. I will add another light. This time a point light with a lighter color. You can switch to 4 view mode to see the angles from different perspectives. Add more lights if needed for extra flare. Now let's animate this ring. Add keyframes for position and XYZ rotation. And your animation will look like this. Now let's convert our text into 3D text. The steps are somewhat similar. But before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Back to our tutorial. First, let's add the text. Ensure that in the composition settings, the 3D renderer is set to Cinema 4D. and enable the 3D option for the text layer. Next, expand the geometry options and increase the extrusion depth. If you adjust the Y rotation, you will see the depth of the text effectively displayed. 
Now we will add a camera to manage the 3D space more easily and to help animate the text later on. Right click, go to new and select camera. We will use the default 35mm camera. Just click OK. Press C to activate the orbit tool. You can click and drag to change the orbit of the text. Pressing C again switches to the pan tool, allowing you to move the text up, down, right or left. A third press of C will enable the dolly control which zooms in closer or zooms out further away. With our 3D text setup, let's enhance it with lighting to make it look stunning. Right click, go to new and select light. I will use a spotlight and will choose a greenish color. This time we will enable cast shadows and set shadow diffusion to 30 pixels. Adjust the light angle and place it in the top left corner to create desirable highlight and shadow effects. Next, we will add another light. I will change its color to purple and move it to the bottom right corner. Finally, we will add one more light. I will use a yellow color. And then position it in the top right corner to create a nice yellow highlight on the text. Now let's animate the text. Select the camera layer and set keyframes for point of interest and position at the beginning of the composition. Use the C key to change the orientation, setting the position and rotation to your desired starting point for the animation. Then move the playhead to the point where you want the animation to end. Again, use the C key to activate the orbit tool, dolly tool and pan tool. It will look like this. Now let's move on to converting our 2D logo into a 3D logo. The steps for this process are quite different from the previous ones. First, we need to ensure that classic 3D is selected for the 3D renderer as it is necessary for this to work properly. I have the Instagram logo in PMG format here. The first step is to pre-compose the logo. Right click on the layer and select pre-compose. Change the name as needed. And make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Then click OK. Next, go to the effects and presets panel and look for the shatter effect. Double click to apply this effect to the selected layer. Change the view to render so that we can see the logo. Expand the shape section and for the pattern, select custom. For the custom shutter map, choose the logo precom. Expand force 1 and change all the values to 0 so our logo won't move. To add rotation to our logo, we will use the camera position. Adjust the Y rotation to view the depth of the logo better. We will also increase the extrusion depth to 0.7. As we move it, we might see some empty space, which we can fill with color. Expand the texture section and for side mode, select color instead of layer. This will fill the empty space with color. Before changing the color, 
go to the lighting section. For light type, select first com light. And set the ambient light to 1 to ensure that everything in our composition is evenly lit. Now we can change the color to match our logo more closely. Use the color dropper to pick a color from the logo. Then adjust it to be a little darker to add depth. You can also animate this logo by creating keyframes for the Y rotation. And there you go. I hope this video was helpful. Check out more After Effects tutorials on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.